evaluate the definite integral from x equals to 1 to x equals to 3 of 2x dx. So we will use the power rule of integration in order to solve this question. So 2x will equal to 2x to the power of 2 divided by 2. We can simplify that as x squared. We'll put that in a bracket and we'll put the values of x which is 1 and 3. And then for the next step we'll, up, we'll open two brackets and in between them a minus sign. And in the first bracket we will substitute x by 3. So we get as 3 squared minus and for the next bracket we'll substitute x by 1. So we get it as 1 squared. Now we can use our calculator in order to solve this question and we'll get an answer of 8 which is option C. Evaluate the definite integral from x equals to 0 to x equals to pi over 2 of cosine x dx. In order to solve this question I will write a basic rule which is the indefinite integral of cosine x dx equals to sine x plus c. So as we can see here we have a, de a definite integral. So we get it as sine x without plus c which is the constant. So because it's an indefinite integral we will put it, it in a bracket and we put the values of x. So we have 0 and pi over 2. Now we need to open two brackets and we'll put a minus sign between them. Now for the first bracket we will substitute x by pi over 2 and for the second bracket we will substitute x by 0. So we get that sign pi over 2 minus sine 0 and we can calculate that by using our calculator and we'll get an answer of 1. Evaluate the definite integral of x equals 1 to x equals e of 1 over x dx. The rule of logarithmic function of the in definite integral of 1 over x dx equals the natural log of absolute value of x plus c. But in definite integrals, we will have to replace the c with the limits we have. Now, since we have 1 over x, we will have an answer with the natural log of absolute value of x from 1 to e. Now, by substituting the limits in between two brackets with a minus sign in between, at first we will have to substitute the natural logarithmic value of e minus the natural logarithmic of absolute value of 1. Lastly, plug this in calculator to get a solution of 1. By using calculator, select the natural log of absolute value of alpha e close the bracket minus the natural log of absolute value of 1 close the bracket equals to 1. Integration. The integral of x to the power of n dx equals x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. The integral of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus c. The definite integral from x is equal to 0 to x 
equals pi over 2 cosine x dx is equals to in trigonometric functions pi is equals to 180 so the definite integral from x is equals to 0 to x is equals pi over 2 cosine x dx is equals to sine x from x is equals to 0 to pi over 2 and now we're going to put two brackets and we're going to put minus between them and now we're going to replace x by 0 and pi over 2 so sine pi over 2 minus sine 0 pi over 2 means 180 over 2 so 180 over 2 is equals to 90 so sine pi over 2 minus sine 0 is equals to 1 the definite integral from x equals 3 to x equals 4 of x to the power of 3 dx by applying the power rule of integration so our power rule states that definite integral of x to the power of n dx equals to x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c now we will apply the rule but in definite integral which will equal to we open a bracket and then it will be x to the power of 4 over 4 then we close the bracket and it will be from 3 to 4 so now what we will do is we open two brackets with a minus sign in between And for the, for the first bracket, we will substitute x with 4. So it will be 4 to the power of 4 over 4. And for the second bracket, we will do the same, but, we'll subs but we will substitute x with 3. So it will be 3 to the power of 4 over 4. And for our final answer, we will be left with, after plugging it in the calculator, we will be left with 175 over 4. So the correct answer is C. In this question, I will evaluate the definite integral from x equals 0 to x equals 3 of x dx by applying the power rule of integration. So, our power rule states that the indefinite integral of x to the power of n dx equals to x n to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Now we will apply this rule but indefinite integral. So what we will do is we will write the definite integral of uh, the definite integral from x equals 0 to x equals 3 of x dx. So as we know that this x has a power of 1, so we will add 1, it will equal to 2. And then we apply the power rule, which will be, we open a bracket. And then it will be x to the power of 2, as we said, over the power, which will be over 2. We close the bracket and then it will be from 0 to 3. Sorry. From 0 to 3. Now we will open two brackets with a minus sign in between and we will substitute. So for the first bracket we will substitute x with 3. So it will be 3 to the power of 2 over 2 and for the second bracket we will do the same but we will substitute x with 0 so it will be 0 to the power of 2 over 2 and after plugging it in the calculator we will be left with an answer of 9 over 2 so our answer will be b 
thank you. To evaluate the definite integral from x equals 2 to x equals 2 of x to the power of 2 minus 5x plus 2 dx by applying the power rule of integration. So our power rule indicates that the indefinite integral of x to the power of n dx equals x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Now we will apply this rule but in our definite integral and with excluding the c. So what we we'll start off by doing is we'll rewrite this question but after applying the power rule. So it will be we'll open a bracket and then we'll write down x to the power of 3 over 3 minus 5x to the power of 2 over 2 plus 2x. And then we'll close the bracket and then we'll write from 2, from x equals 2 to x equals 2. So for our second step, what we'll do is we'll open two brackets with a minus sign in between. Uh, and we will substitute x by 2 twice because we have two 2's. So it will be 2 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 5 times 2 to the power of 2 over 2 plus 2 times 2. And we'll write the same thing in the second bracket. So it will be 2 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 5 times 2 to the power of 2 over 2 plus 2 times 2. We will get an answer of 0. The definite integral uh, from x equals 1 to x equals 4 of 5x minus 4 dx by applying the power root of integration. So our power rule states that the indefinite integral of x to the power of n dx equals to x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So now we will apply this rule but in our definite integral by excluding the c. So it will be, we will open a bracket. And we'll write down 5x to the power of 2 over 2 minus 4x. From x equals 1 to x equals 4. Um, and then for our second step, what we'll do is we will open We'll open two brackets with a minus sign in between and we will just rewrite our expression by substituting x with 1 in the second bracket and substituting x with 4 in the first bracket. So this would be 5 times 4 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 4 times 4. For the second bracket, it will be 5 times 1 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 4 times 1. After plugging this in the calculator, we will get an answer of 51 over 2. So our correct answer should be D.